One of the more interesting themes in the world of currency trading over the last few weeks has been the relative strength of currencies from commodity exporting nations like Canada and Australia versus commodity importing nations like Japan. What's particularly interested interesting is that these movements have happened in a time where geopolitical tensions have increased exponentially, which usually causes the yen to rally. Now the question here is, has there been a slight safe haven paradigm shift where now the focus could be on the resources a nation has in these inflationary times? Now to underscore that point, the Australian dollar has rallied over 4% against the US dollar just since late January. Also the Australian 10 year has rallied to 2.5% far above the domestic U.S. tenure at 2.16%. Now, if a trader respects the strength in commodities and consequently the strength in the Aussie dollar, they could express that thesis by buying the CME Group June micro Aussie dollar futures contract at 0.7264 and target the March 7th highs of 0.7455. A stop for this trade could be placed just below recent lows at 0.7170. Now, this trade could make $191 if your target is reached and risks 94 if you're stopped out at your level. Now, if a trader believes that the Aussie dollar could move lower, perhaps on a commodity correction or a renewed interest in buying the US dollar as a geopolitical safe haven, they could express that by selling the CME Group June Aussie dollar futures contract, the micro, at 0.7264 and target February lows of 0.6980. A stop for this trade could be placed at 0.7390 just above the March 11th highs. This trade could make $284 if their target is reached and risks $126 if you're stopped out at your level.